Meteorologist John Adams for a look at our forecast. Now, John, it was chilly out today. I tried to go out to go pick some tulips and had to have a coat on. Yeah, it is a little bit chilly. Of course, we are still in winter. Got about uh, eight or ten days to go before we get into spring. But today we did have not only the cool air in place, but we also had some clouds that blocked the sun for a good portion of the day. We are beginning to see some blue sky this afternoon now, but uh, we will clear out tonight. And that's just going to help the temperature go down a little bit more. So we'll be seeing those temperatures down into the upper 30s. Not expecting any anything in the way of freezing, but it is going to be chilly. You'll certainly want that jacket if you're going to be out tonight. Here's what we expect to see as we go through the night. Clearing skies, as I said. Now, we'll have variable cloudiness as we go through the morning tomorrow. High pressure will be settling right over the East Texas area. No rainfall coming our way until a little bit later on. High slides eastward as we go through the day on Monday, and we'll pick up some clouds during the morning and the early part of the afternoon. They'll kind of thin out a little bit later in the afternoon as we warm up just a few degrees, but then here comes more clouds for Tuesday morning. There's a front approaching from the north, and that is going to help to trigger some showers and some thunderstorms to the north of us on Tuesday. That'll be up in Oklahoma. It'll be a little bit later in the week before we start to see a chance of rain, uh, at least a decent one, in the East Texas area at that point. But we'll start off with some showers, and then there'll be some scattered thunderstorms in there with it, and possibly an outbreak of some severe storms coming for us again on Thursday. Temperature is right now, though, we're in the 50s. These are about 10 to 15 degrees below the average, which is in the upper 60s this time of the year. And here's where we expect to go in the morning. Upper 30s, but you don't see anything getting close to 32 degrees in there. As we go into the afternoon, we'll be see our temperatures warming up into the 60s, still a few degrees below the average for this time of the year. So the next seven days, we're going to be trending upward through Tuesday and Wednesday. And then by Thursday, we'll start to see those high temperatures come down a few degrees, getting back to about normal for this time of the year by the time the weekend gets here. So here's the way it's shaping up for tonight. 39 degrees will go mostly clear and we'll have a northerly breeze about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow we are going to see a good bit of sunshine in the afternoon, a high 63 degrees and our winds out of the north around 5 miles per hour. As we look ahead to the next seven days, Monday we'll have mostly sunny skies. We'll have some nighttime showers possible on Tuesday, a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder there on Wednesday and Wednesday night. Then showers and thunderstorms Thursday. This will be our prime day for severe storms, it appears, or at least our next best chance coming for Thursday, Thursday afternoon, and Thursday night. As we get into the weekend, still a chance of showers there on Saturday. And for deep east Texas, you also have that chance for a few severe storms there on Thursday. Thursday and by Friday we'll have showers and thunderstorms beginning to decrease a little bit, but still a chance of showers into the weekend. You can check that forecast anytime. Go to our website, KETK.com. Thank you, John.